If you are a real estate agent and you are tired of cold calling, door knocking, paying for ads that flat out don't work, or just tired of not knowing how to generate leads, then this is the channel for you. We are four rockstar agents who have come together to help fellow agents achieve financial freedom as well as location and time freedom. My name is Andy Hollis along with my partners Aileen Fountain, David Doran, and Tim Hollanden. Together we have over 50 plus years experience and knowledge in the real estate and sales and training industry and we are hoping to pass that knowledge on to you. So let's get started. Yeah, so um, if you want to know how we lead into this, get the presentation started, go watch uh, the recording from, uh, uh, what was it, three weeks ago, day one. Um, so basically, that was the very first recording. It's 14 steps prior to going on the listing presentation. And then how we lead into the presentation when we're there. I even talk in that 14 steps to getting every listing, how we do the market analysis, how we present that, how we close for that. So that's all in that video. This is just strictly the listing presentation. And then why last week we went through the marketing is a lot of the marketing is in this presentation. So you get, if you've been up, if you're on last week, you'll understand what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go deep dive into the marketing like I would if the seller wasn't sitting in front of me um, because we kind of went through that last week. There are a couple things in here we didn't go through, so I will hit those. But uh, basically we sit down at the table. We've already looked through the house. Uh, my laptop has been going. This is sitting on the main screen. So they know they know to expect something here. Um, I know that any time in the past, if I didn't do my presentation, I would probably get the listing 60 to 70% of the time. Whereas if I do my presentation, I'm 90 to 95%. You know, I, if someone tells you they get every single listing presentation, and everybody to sign with them, they're, they're lying to you. Plain and simple. Um, no one is 100% at this. And if they are, uh, there's probably something wrong with their presentation or what they're earning on the backside. So we start with this. We basically just say, hey, this is our maximum path. That will show you exactly how we sell homes, not just list the property. So let's go right into it, maybe. Um, so. If you interview 100 agents, 100 of them are going to tell you this exact same thing. And I know that. They're going to say that they're going to sell their own fast for top dollar with the least amount of hassle. We're going to show you how we do that versus just telling you we're going to do that. So we utilize a unique team system, exclusive and innovative consumer programs, technology, and then knowledge of our marketplace. And we're going to dive into each one of those. But before we get into this, what we found, I've been doing this for 21 years, and so just an aside, I'm presenting this exactly like I would present it to a sub. So we've been doing this for 21 years, and what I've found is there's four main mistakes people make when they choose a real estate agent. And I want you to know these things right up front. So if you're interviewing me or anybody else, these are the things you should be on the lookout for. Number one, going with an agent who promises the highest sales price for the most amount of money in your pocket, even if the price seems unrealistic. I am not the guy that's gonna buy your listing. I'm not gonna promise you 700,000 when your home's worth 500,000. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm going to give you a good range of where the price is going to be. Two, choosing the agent who promises to save you money by discounting the commission rate. I'm gonna show you in this presentation how our commission is covered by getting you extra money for your house. We realistically get you more money every time we sell a house, so we don't have to worry about our commission rate. Number three, choosing the nicest agent. Now, I'm a pretty nice guy, but there's probably some nicer people out there. I am going to tell you, I am also an honest guy. So sometimes I have to tell you the things you don't want to hear in order for you to understand where we are in the transaction, whether that be when we're under contract, whether that be uh, when we're setting the price initially here today, I'm going to be 100% honest with you and you can trust that that's going to be the case. And then the last thing is choosing an agent that works all by themselves because you think they'll work a lot harder and give you more personal attention. And that's absolutely the wrong way to think about things. Actually, there's about 88 different jobs that the real estate agent has during the sale of your home. If they're working with you, they have 88 jobs. 
if they're working with two or three people, multiply that, and you can see how many things, how many balls are in the air, they're probably gonna drop a few, right? So we utilize a team system to help us actually focus on things that we're good at. So right up front, I'm gonna start with the negative news. Even though the market is really, really strong and really good, you can see in the last 90 days, we've had 3,400 homes expire in Tarrant County. I pull this at the first of every month so that it's accurate uh, when we're talking and 21.4% of all homes right now in our market are expiring. Why does this matter when we're setting a relationship up front to begin with? Well, first, I don't want your home to expire. So it's important that we price right. What an expire is, is you've been on the market for 90 days, 180 days, sometimes a year, and you didn't get sold. Uh, and we're going to show you why that probably is. And, and we're specialists at working with people that expired or canceled before, and we were able to sell their home. As a matter of fact, people that have expired in the past, our average list to sales price with those people are 99.17%. So it shows you that the price isn't always the thing. A lot of people say, why did my home expire? And the only thing the agent can say is, oh, you should reduce your price. That is not 100% accurate. A lot of times it comes down to marketing. We'll show you why our marketing is superior. And a lot of times what this uh, slow or what this super fast market has done is created lazy agents. And what they do is what we call the ABCs of marketing. They advertise themselves. We're number one. We're the biggest, the baddest. You know, I don't understand how you can interview 10 agents and they're all going to tell you they're number one. How can everybody be number one? It just can't happen, right? So they're advertising themselves, which does you, the seller, no good. B, they bang a sign on your lawn. We're going to do that too, but our sign is superior. We use a six foot tall T posted sign. It's got a text writer feature on it and a couple other things we're going to go through in here. C, create an ad for the paper or the internet and then maybe run it. I put maybe because most people don't run any ads because the market has been so strong, they think they'll just throw it in the MLS, sit back and collect their check. We do not do this. That's number D. E, encourage your office to show it. I figure they might try an open house and then G, if it doesn't sell, they'll get on their knees and pray it sells. And worse than that, they go buy one of those St. Joseph's figurines, bury it head first in your garden and think that's the marketing program. That is what a lot of people do when they don't know how to sell a house. So uh, we use a team approach, which is the preferred way of working with clients. So we have somebody that covers service, admin, marketing, negotiating, but you get me. I am the one that's going to be working directly with you, the seller. So you don't have to fear that I'm just gonna pass you on to somebody else in our team. You're going to get me direct. So when we come down to what does it take to sell a house? There's only three things. Most people say, oh, there's a million things to go on to sell the home. Uh, no, there's only three things. And those are the three main headers, but then there's many separate things underneath of that. Number one is price. You have to price your home accurately. Number two is cleanliness and presentation. That means getting your home in the right shape in order for the pictures and for the home to show very well. And then the third thing is me, marketing. What do we do to get more eyeballs on your home, both online and in person, so we can create more demand for your house versus just throwing it in, in the MLS and praying somebody else is gonna sell it for us. So price is, is the number one thing and it's 90% of any great marketing plan. It must be below homes that offer more features than your home or your home's gonna sit on the market, right? So let's say you wanna price your home at 300,000 and there's a home two doors down that's also at 300,000, but it has a pool and you don't. Well, you're not going to sell. You will sit there until that home sells and likely longer than that, because now you have a comp that had something superior to you that sold that you didn't have. So we have to take that into consideration. However, we understand pricing a home is stressful. Price it too high, buyers rule it out. Uh, price it too low and you get multiple offers and you think, oh my gosh, did I leave money on the table? We don't want either of these to happen too. Though we do want multiple offers and we'll show you how to, how we encourage multiple offers to be performed in the market with the way that we market your property. Multiple offers don't necessarily indicate that you had a low price, but let's say your home's 500,000 and you price it at 480 so you stimulate multiple offers. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but let's say your 480 turns into 550. Well, now you've probably left some money on the table because you had 
a bad analysis done up front. Uh, price again, right? Uh, say yes to initial high price. Like we said earlier, we're not going to buy your listing. We're not going to promise you something we don't think you could sell for. I know that if I overprice your home, it's going to eliminate any impact of our marketing system. We do have the strongest marketing system out there, I promise you. But I know that if I overprice your property, it's going to totally kill anything that we do. For instance, if you had a Kia and you priced your Kia at $100,000, would anybody come look for your Kia? No, right? Same thing with your house. So the home uh, ultimately loses because the results in a lower sales price, pretty easy. So what we do is we research the market thoroughly, review the information with you, and then we reevaluate your home on a weekly basis, keeping you informed of the market and keeping you up to date with the correct price range on your property. So let's get through all that. Now let's get into the marketing side of things. So on marketing, the very first thing we do is cleanliness and presentation. Should you stage your home? I say yes, we stage every one of our homes. We pay for the initial consult on staging. Um, so what we'll have is we have a stager, her name's Maggie, she's like four foot eight. She comes through your house, she's the cutest person, sweetest person, comes through, she's an interior designer, she's gonna tell you where to move things, what to do. I know you've probably had other agents or friends or family in the house that are like, oh, depersonalize the house, or you need to paint it this color or that color, or maybe you had an agent that told you all the things that you need to do to your home. I am not a stager, I am a marketer. So I'm going to hire people that are better at their job than I would be. So I'm not gonna pretend I know everything about staging and interior design because I honestly don't. So what we're going to do is hire that person for you and then follow her plan. So then after staging, what we're gonna do is go into the photography. Photography, same thing. I am not a photographer. Can I take pictures? Yeah. Can I take video? Yeah, but I am not gonna take the best photos. So on the left, we're going to look at a home that was on the market. This was in North Richmond Hills. It was a $600,000 house. It was on the market 181 days. It did not sell. We took it over. We had it on the market for $600,000, had it on the market for six days and sold it for full price. This was one that was in that list I showed you earlier. Now, how do we do that? We're better marketers. We're better at designing a description. And a lot of it boils down to getting the home in the correct shape and then taking correct pictures of it. Look at the difference between the clarity of the two photos. This is the same house. Yes, this is the same house. If you look on the fireplace mantle, you'll see the little orange flower there. They don't even look like the same room. But this is what happens when you have a photographer that is an agent taking a picture of your home on the left and where you have an agent that hires a professional photographer with custom equipment, custom lighting, all the, all the things they do in order to take pictures of the property. You can see the difference. That one on the left looks small, cramped, dark. The one on the right, it looks open, open floor plan, nice, light, and bright. That's what you want to see when people are looking at homes online. Uh-oh. Um, I got the wheel of death there for a second. Sorry. <laughs> then we have um, the exterior. This looks like it's fallen down. Obviously, this, you can see it's in much better condition. Why didn't they show the umbrella? Stage this exterior. Make it look good, right? And then take great pictures of it. This is all the same house in North Richmond Hills. Again, same thing on the kitchen. This looks old and dated and dark. This is professional photography. Makes a huge difference. They left the closet door open. Are you freaking kidding me? I mean, come on. Uh, and then, you know, this definitely comes off a lot better. Uh, shows more of the house or more of the master bathroom. So then the next step in staging is we want to do digital staging if you have any vacant rooms. Now we can do personal staging, but that is very, very expensive. Okay, Maggie will offer you staging services. We pay up to $500 for that staging. 
If you don't want to go that route, we can always digitally stage your property. You can see these homes on the left are a vacant home. Same home, that furniture never existed. If you're a buyer looking through the internet, which home would you rather look at? The one on the right or the one on the left? Pretty obvious answer, same thing. And then the master bedroom. All of these home, uh, pictures on the right, that furniture never existed. We can also stage the exterior. Now, staging the exterior, again, this is done digitally. You can see on the picture on the left, that looks pretty nice, it's a pretty decent image. Uh, but uh, you can see there's cars on the street in the back. We can't make, make the neighbors move their cars when we're taking photos of our homes. But we can remove them digitally. And we can even straighten this house up a little bit. We can turn on the lights. We can throw up this awesome data dust looking uh, sky in the background because what we want to do is attract buyers to your home. 96% of all buyers start their search online. And what do they do? They scroll up and down or they scroll, scroll left and right. And this I'll usually take out Zillow and show them, you know, and then what happens is every image looks the same. Every house is gonna start looking the same in their range. What we wanna do is we wanna make them stop. Because if we can get them to stop on an image for 1.2 seconds or longer, we now have their cookie or what I call their digital thumbprint. Once I have their digital thumbprint, I can retarget them and deliver your home over and over again to them or more marketing. We have this huge gas station area called Bucky's and they advertise like crazy with billboards. So just inside. So I use the Bucky's reference here. What I say is it's kind of like Bucky's. If you're driving down to San Antonio, which is about a four and a half hour drive, you're going to see about 20 billboards for Bucky's. I know the first time I ever did that, I was like, what the heck is Bucky's? But by the time I got to San Antonio, I was like, I need to stop at Bucky's, you know, like, their billboards sold me. Why? Because it's that compounding effect of image after image after image after image that eventually you're like, okay, I need to check it out. Same thing we do when we're marketing your home with potential buyers. We also use the 3D tours. Now this is when I would open up the single page website and go through all the things we do on the single page website, walk them through a 3D tour, and go through the entire process with them. We're gonna skip that because we did that last video. So now on to why you should utilize us versus utilizing another agent, because there's five big reasons. Now, I don't make them look at this whole page. I fly right through it because we're gonna get right into it. Number one, we sell more homes than most folks out here. On average, if you take out all the agents, there's 66,000 real estate agents in our market. If you take out all the agents that don't sell a home and we only use agents that sell at least one home, the average agent sells 4.2 homes per year. That is it. The same metric is national. National, it ranges every single year between about four and six homes per year. Our best year in real estate, we sold 307 homes. We average over 100 homes every single year. So realistically, we're 76 times greater than the average agent. Because we've sold over 3,000 homes, no, I understand that past success isn't a predictor for future success, but I do know after working with 3,000 sales that I know the pitfalls and the things to look out for when we're selling your property and we get you more money per home. Our average list to sales price ratio right now, when including for adjusting for closing cost concession, is 101.72%. The average on the market is 98.39%. I need to adjust this because our average price has gone up to 400,000, but the average on a $300,000 home is 3.33%, or just by using our services, and utilizing what we do, and we don't charge you more to do this, we put an extra 10 grand in your pocket at the end of the day. Because your home and your equity is worth it, so we fight for your equity. Also, your home's gonna sell faster. Our average is nine days on the market. The average in the market right now is 23 days. 
So we're considerably faster, about three times. The percentage of listed homes versus expired, <clears throat> we sell 99% of the homes we've taken. Since 2018, I've listed two homes that I didn't sell. And everyone always asks, what are those two homes? One was a $3.5 million home that was just over the top gaudy. And <laughs> we couldn't find anybody that wanted to spend that much for a gaudy house. The second home was a geodome. If you've ever seen a geodome, you wouldn't buy it either. We couldn't sell them anything. So the, the average agent, like we said earlier, has 21.6% of their homes expire. That means only 78.4% of the market is selling. So would you rather have a 99% chance that your home sells at 3.5% greater price, or do you wanna take a 78% chance of selling your home at a 3.5% plus price? The choice is up to you. At this point, I typically have them and I can close them down for contract, but we'll go through the list. Um, 90% of people that we work with come back and work with us again. I wish this was 100%, but I don't think anybody can say that. So we do have about a 10% fall off. So people come back and use us again and again and again. There's many instances where we've helped families buy six, seven, eight homes and sell all those homes for them as well. In fact, we have a home coming on the market here in a couple of days that it will be our fifth time selling that particular home. So pretty awesome. National Association Realtor Fact, only 31% of the people go back and use their previous agent. So again, there's gotta be a reason there. And a lot of it is what we've already shared with you. And then the fifth thing is we have the buyers. We have 34,000 buyers in our database. At this point, I would open up my app, go through our buyer database and do a search and break it down to their house and show them how many buyers we have in their area. Why is this important? And then we show them all the buyers. And again, I typically don't have to go past this. I can get the listing at this point, right? We have the buyers. We know everything about them. We know who they are, their phone number, their email address, when they registered, how long they've been on our site, what their price point is, when they're looking to buy. And you can see right here, this is just a snapshot. There's like 15 buyers that have been on our site within an hour. Right? So it gives us great information about them and we can see how many searches they set up, how many homes they love, how many homes they're looking at. This person right here, Courtney, she's looked at 475 properties. Do you think she's an active buyer? If your home was in Allen, she would be getting my marketing, right? So we utilize this to target buyers of interest. This is when I go through the site, show them, we, we send out the 3D tour uh, and all the pictures of your property. This is kind of a flow chart of exactly what we're doing. We're gonna leave you a copy of all this too. But it's exactly what we do when we go through setting up a listing. We're gonna send you, set you up on 78 syndicated sites. We actually go out to thousands of sites, but 78 that syndicate direct. We still do newspaper ads. Every once in a great while, we'll do one. Not necessarily, that's not the crux of our position, our, our marketing plan, but it is part of it. We launch you on Zillow Premier Listings. Uh, we create, create a personal website for your home. We already showed you that. Talking home service, basically, when someone pulls up to your home, should be more like texting home service. They text uh, a specific code to an 800 number and your home gets delivered to their phone right there. And then the 3D tour comes right after it that we just went through with you. That's right on their phone. Guess what? When I get a text from that number, I know that person is sitting out in front of your home, going through your tour, and I'm calling them. Pretty awesome idea to sell your home while they're looking at it, right? and let's get them into the house through our everyday open house. We also utilize these sites, Trulia, YouTube, Zillow, Realtor.com. We're five-star agents on all of these. Google, this is our own site called DallasHouse.net. The reason we use Dallas House is all for SEO purposes. Dallas is the number five search city in the entire United States. House is the number two search term on Google behind our. 
So when you combine those two things together, we don't sell in Dallas all that much, but when you combine those two words together, our SEO ranking goes really through the roof. So we get a lot of free leads that could be possible leads to buy your home through this site. Like I said earlier, we're five-star agents with Zillow. We got well over 100 reviews on there. We have 100 plus reviews on our Google page. We have 50, 60 plus reviews on our Facebook page. They're all different because we don't want to copy them to all different sources because people sometimes utilize all those sources to research an agent. And I understand that. We already talked about creating your own personal website, but we also offer national and international marketing as well. We can get you in the Wall Street Journal, New York Times, Jet Set Magazine, Rob Report. We put you in 26 different languages, or 26 different countries in 13 different languages. So how cool would it be to sell your home to somebody that lives in Japan, right? Or Australia, we've done that. We also utilize what we call our Citywide Buyers Agents Network. This is top producing agents that are selling properties every single day. We're gonna market directly to them. We, we maintain close working relationships with them. We sell a lot of their homes. They sell a lot of our homes. So they understand that we're good at what we do and it's gonna be an easy transaction. So what we do is every time somebody has shown one of our homes in the past, so we utilize a system called showing time. It used to be CSS. Every time someone has to schedule a showing, they've got to call or click through the app and schedule. What we get is their name, their brokerage, your email address, phone number. So we have collected through the years about 14,000 agents contact info. This is the first group of people that we start attracting to your home. Why? Because there's three types of buyers that we want to market to. There's unaffiliated buyers. This is why we use our signs. This is why we use Zillow, Google, Realtor.com, YouTube. They don't have an affiliation with an agent. You have affiliated buyers, which is other agents' buyers and how we ethically attract their buyers to buy your home. And then the third group of buyers are my own buyers, which we already showed you, we got 34,000 of those. So those are the three types of buyers and all classes of buyers that we can attract to your property. This is typically, I don't know why this doesn't disappear, it's supposed to. Um, this is typically what um, an agent sends out when they get a new listing. Again, this is the number one piece for advertising themselves. Hey, look, Aaron, I just got this new listing at 7100 Kickapoo Drive. Here's the information about it. Here's a couple pictures. It's 350. Click for more pictures. Click the virtual tour. Here's our faces. Here's our name, our email address, and our brokerage information. Contact us. Guess where that goes? Delete. It goes right into my trash. I never send this out to another buyer or anyone, right? They're spending money sending this stuff out and it's a waste of money. Every one of us as a real estate agent have received this. Every one of us delete this because we do not want our buyer contacting that agent directly. So how do we ethically market your home to other agents where they will forward on your property? Well, this is how we do it. So I'm gonna read this to you. So what we do is we create an email and we use an email service that sends out 14,000 of these every time we get a new property. Because I don't know if they have a proper, or a buyer in Keller or a buyer in you know, Arlington or wherever our new listing's coming, so I'm gonna send it to all of them. So it says, Kristen, here's a coming soon property that we'd love to share with you and your buyer. It's all in red, you can see. This email is for your buyer on our listing at 2401 Watercrest Lane in Keller. In this email, I've removed all of our branding, information, etc so that this email is selling to your buyer, selling you to your buyer and how much extra you're doing for them going above and beyond and obviously presenting my home to them as well. Please feel free to check out all the images, 3D tour, et cetera, to confirm that no way is any of my information on it. Everything in red and in brackets is for you to change or delete. So this email sells you the agent. Dear Mr. Homebuyers, this is where you put your homebuyer's name, right? 
I've been diligently searching for a home that I think checks all the bo boxes for you. This home may just do it, and no one else even knows about it yet. It is coming on the market in a couple of days, and I wanted to make sure that uh, we were one of the first people in the home, as I think it'll go fast. So yes, this is an amazing off-market property that I've found through my connections in the industry. This is why you trust me as a professional in this tough market. I was able to obtain the pictures and 3D tour of the property so you can take a look at them and let me know if it is something you want to take a peek in the inside of. It is located at 2401 Watercrest in Keller and the price is $625. Here's a link to the Matterport tour. If you click the picture, it opens up all the pictures, which I put in a Dropbox file and it's just a Dropbox link that's shared, right? As always, I'm here to serve you and give you the best experience as a buyer. Let me know what you think about the property. I hope you have a blessed day. And then they put their information here. Make sure to delete my signature below and hit forward. When you do hit forward, make sure to delete all the, uh, in the subject the FW so that it doesn't show up that it's a forward. Which is more effective to market a property? This route selling you because you're sending this to agents. Do we care you have a new listing? or this route to potential home buyers and other agents, home buyers. I can tell you this is extremely effective. Uh, effective. We put uh, tracking software in the back of this and 49% of every one of these emails we send get forwarded on. So we're in about 6,800 email boxes of buyers. Pretty sweet, right? I've been doing this for about seven years, eight years, and I have never received one from anyone else. I don't understand it. Every agent can copy this. It works awesome. This is how when we put a home on the market, literally we have six, eight, 10 showings the first day, even in slow markets, because we've sold that agent to their buyer before our home was even available. This is coming soon marketing. Putting a coming soon sign on a house or a listing is not. Cool. Specialized programs. Jeff and I have done a video on this. Your home sold guarantee. So basically we saw the real estate catch 22. You buy first, sell first, sell first, buy first. What do you do, right? So most buyers are in that issue, right? How do you solve the catch 22? So right here on the sign, we put a little writer says, buy this home and we'll buy your home for cash. So what we do is if a buyer is looking to buy your house and they have a home to sell, we'll make a cash offer of 95% of the market value of that home. So let's say it's a $200,000 house. We'll go in and we'll offer them $190,000 for the house. If we can't sell it in 45 days, we'll buy it from them for that price. If we do sell it, let's say we sell it for $200,000, we'll rip up our $190,000 offer. Pretty awesome way to market your home versus that one that's right down the street that's also for sale that's a competitor. If I'm a buyer and I have a home to sell, who am I calling, me or that person down the street? Most likely they call me. So we can solve every buyer's issue. We also offer you a one-day listing program. I think one of the biggest issues with brokerage services is that you need to sign this six month agreement. Why? If I'm not doing my job, you should have the opportunity to fire me. If I'm not doing my job at any other business, I know they would fire me. So make us prove to you that we're going to do your job. So what we do is we don't lock you into a long term contract. We do sign a six month agreement because the state of Texas require us to have a start and end time. But in special provisions, we're gonna write that after 30 days on the MLS, and yes, we want at least 30 days, because we're spending thousands of dollars on your home up front. So we want at least 30 days to recoup some of our money or try to sell your home. Most of the time, we haven't sold in that time. Let's say we don't. Well, at that point, we're still under an agreement. We're still gonna provide services. We're still gonna be aggressive because we know we can be fired at any time and lose all that money we've invested in your house. But it gives you the opportunity to not worry that you're locked into a long-term agreement. You can cancel any time, there's no penalty or fee. 
And then one last thing is we do utilize Google to a lot of pay-per-click marketing as well as Facebook. So Facebook's awesome. We can market directly to potential buyers and sellers. And I want to show you the difference here. A lot of agents, their marketing program we talked to you about was the ABCs. One of the big things they think they're doing great marketing is doing an open house. Well, I will show you how I can trump any open house in any market every single time. This ad ran for three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It was this house. I had 7,800 people reached. 60 of them liked, commented, and shared on the post. 1,000 people clicked on the link, meaning they opened up the post. Have you ever heard of an open house that has had a thousand people in it? No, me either. Okay, but this one did. This is a digital open house. 799 viewed all the photos. 147 clicked this little link that says, I want more info. When they click that link, we call it the devil. The devil appears and you have to fill out all your information. The cool thing about Facebook is when the devil appears on there, all their information's already filled out. And most of it is right. 72% of the information on Facebook is accurate because that's how people want to connect with friends, family, and past acquaintances. So when 147 people clicked on this listing saying, hey, I want more information. I want the 3D tour. I want all the stuff about this house. Some of them ran away. 80 of them did. But 67 of them gave us their info. Again, have you ever had 67 people in your home on a weekend? to view an open house where you were able to get all the seller, buyer's info. Most likely not, but we had 67 people that we were calling on this home and sold it that weekend. And then of course we do the traditional things most other agents do as well, you know, like we already talked about professional photography, staging, 3D tours, all the buyers in waiting, technology, uh, we do postcards, we call around the listing, Obviously, we put the six foot tall T post inside. We do our everyday open house, which I didn't even get into, which is basically, Mr. Seller, would you uh, allow us to show your home today at two o'clock if we had a ready, able, and willing buyer? And they always say yes. What about if we did four o'clock? Yeah. What if we did 10 a.m.? Yeah, if I had some notice. Okay, cool. We're going to put a sign in here that says home open every day, call our office for times. It's a different number by one digit than our big sign, but we get three times as many calls on it than we do on our big sign. Simply for the fact that we're talking in the buyer's vernacular, open house, right? But why wouldn't we tell them that your home's open every day? Because you just said you'd allow us in there just about any time of the day. So let's tell the public that. Why keep that a secret like most agents do? And then the last thing is teamwork. Basically, we want to work together with you as a team. And, you know, we look forward to selling your home to, for top, fast and for top dollar. And this is when I use the closing phrase, you know, if you think I'm the right agent to produce the most equity in return in your pocket based on our marketing, which uh, based on price and, or sorry, I totally screwed that up because I was looking at something else. <laughs> <laughs> so basically when, I, when we get into that, I'm just basically going to ask them the simple question is, based on what you've seen here, do you believe we're the best agent for your job? If we can come to terms on price and fee, do you think our marketing would help sell your home for the most amount of money? And that's it. Let them answer. Yes or no. If they say no, we're going to go into more things. Or if they say, you know, we may go into our VIP service agreement. You know, where we have a communication guarantee and we have an honest promises guarantee and we do reality-based selling price by establishing a range and we do a reality-based timetable guarantee and honest representation of experience and track records. Nobody else will do as much as we do to get your home sold, period. So that's basically it. And then we get into the comps and establishing a good price for the house. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen. You're hired. That's it. Appreciate you guys being on here.